It looks like a bazooka, but fires like a rifle. And while it's been around for decades, it's new here to the 425 on J Bear. And this is it, the Carl Gustav recoilless rifle. I'm with uh, John Duell from Crane, Indiana. He's here teaching the 425 how to use the Carl Gustav. John, tell us about it. Okay, well, this is a M3 recoilless 84 millimeter rocket fired weapon system. We're here to teach the unit on how to deploy and shoot this weapon effectively to different multiple target systems or targets that range from armored vehicles, bunkers, or any type of structures. It shoots multiple different types of rounds that will either air burst or impact into your targets. What does the Carl Gustav bring to the 425? How will it be used? Okay, this can be used on a battlefield, of course, and it can be deployed from a, their fighting positions. It shoots out to shoots out to 1,200 meters, depending on the type of round that it shoots, and it can shoot up to as close as 300 meters, and that would be their safe separation for this weapon system. And talk about the weapon's versatility. Okay, the versatility of this weapon system allows the fighter to engage targets out to 1,200. It also allows it to shoot alum rounds, smoke rounds, and it has high explosive rounds, and it also deploys what they call the flying claymore round. Uh, in a place like Afghanistan, uh, how would this type of weapon be useful for infantry? Okay, so out on the battlefield, they have either troops in the open or their fighting positions. This allows them to engage targets that either troops are hiding behind, okay? It has air burst capability, so they can engage targets that are out in the open or in structure. All right, John, thank you so much for explaining the Carl Gustav. Uh, the 425 will have 20 of these. They're here, and they are officially ready for action. On Jay Bear, Blake Essig, Channel 2 News.